What's up everybody? This is Ricky J man. Welcome to another video and guys I'm pretty excited because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do the rematch the jackass boxing rematch between Butterbean and Johnny Knoxville and for you guys that do not know man in the movie jackass Johnny Knoxville one of the uh, jackass members went up against Butterbean and he got absolutely destroyed inside of a department store. Yeah, I'll get into it a little bit later. But um, we're going to use Johnny Knoxville on the hardest setting. I set him at 69 overall. I feel like that's pretty accurate. And let me just make sure everything is loaded correctly here. We're going to set it to greatest of all time. That's the hardest it can go. 12 rounds, 3 minutes a round. And it's going to be at the Boardwalk Hall. You guys ready? Here we go, man. Well, this is going to be pretty funny. <laughs> Some of you guys have been asking for this. And I can never toss up a wacky matchup. So here we go. So yeah, man, in the movie Jackass, which um, it was um, based off of the TV show Jackass, but they decided to make a movie. And in the movie, they had Butterbean going up against Johnny Knoxville. And um, what happened was <laughs> they contacted Butterbean and they told him that he was going to be facing Johnny Knoxville. But Butterbean didn't know that... It wasn't going to be inside a ring. They actually fought inside a department store. So I'm going <laughs> to attach a GIF for you guys. And holy smokes, man. Johnny Knoxville. I think he didn't even he didn't even last like 30 seconds. And he got knocked out. And sadly, he cracked his head on the side of... Uh, <laughs> On the side of a cabinet, you know, um, a glass table cabinet kind of thing, and it cracked him open, wide open. He got knocked out. He was snoring on the floor. It was pretty bad. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to uh, get some redemption against Big Bad Butterbean, and this is gonna be hard, man, just because using a 69 overall fighter, um, you can't really do much, man. You can't really do much, and you can't really get hit. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to play a game of cat and mouse here, play a game of Tom and Jerry, and try to run and do some running and try to gas out Butterbeans. Hopefully this is going to work. If we get totally destroyed, you know what? We are the underdog going into this, so there's no expectations, man. The expectations are really low. But um, back to the movie, Jackass. I remember back in the day I went to go see it with my buddies, and um, we just thought it was such a, a silly concept of a movie you know but it was just so entertaining man and we watched almost every single episode of the show and obviously the movie and we loved it and before I started recording I went to look at the backstory on Jackass and it only cost them five million to make and they made up to I believe it was 70 million holy cow so it was a huge success that's for sure but uh they did some crazy, crazy, all right, gentlemen. you know, Protect yourselves just at all crazy time. things in the in the movie with Steve-O and the whole gang. It was pretty crazy, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a lot of crazy one sentence. But here we go. Oh, it's Knoxville here. going up <laughs> against Butterbean. And again, 69 overall. We got to get moving. Yeah, we got to do this. His opponent's headshot. Oh, oh, yeah. What's the easiest way for Again, we got to get him to gas out. out. Butterbean, it's like my uh, my old neighbor's go-kart, man. It's only going to last about 10 minutes. <laughs> and then it's going to be all gassed out. So we got to be aware of that. Beware of the power. There, shot to the belly. I feel like I'm facing King Hippo from Mike Tyson's punch. -o. Remember that guy? Oh, yes. And what I'll do is I'll attach um, just a little clip of the details of Knoxville's stats. <laughs> He's so bad his attributes. <laughs> he is so bad. So again, I'm scared to throw a punch. Scared to engage this early into this fight. Oh! Again, we gotta hit, give him with one little shot and then get moving. Don't want to... Uh, you know, as you see my health going down, don't want to get greedy. Holy cow, my left hand is shaking. I wish I could show you guys. I don't know why I'm so nervous. But again, Butterbean's got power, but it doesn't have the speed, so we can kind of... Oh, jeez. We can kind of see things coming, you know what I mean? Able to cover up that gut. We just gotta take it slow. But look at this. Look at his stamina. And 
for all you ESBC esports boxing fans out there, Butterbean is on the roster. Did you know that? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I cannot wait to use Butterbean. Hopefully they give him better stats than what Fight Night Champion did. Like, come on, are you serious? He's only a 74 overall. But right here. Oh, gee, man. He's the poor man's Mike Tyson, isn't he? Oh, I was going to say right now. <gasps> I was going to say right now, we're not doing too bad, but we took a little shot there. Knoxville's got to <laughs> gotta keep on moving. <laughs> Butterbean, this is pretty hilarious because Butterbean's kind of gassing himself out, man. Looking for that department store knockout. And in that clip in the movie, you know, the people in the store, nobody called the cops. From what I've read. Good exchange. He fires back. Yeah, nobody called the cops on them, and uh, <laughs> it was so funny how when the fight started, somebody walked in with a round one sign inside the department store, and people are like, "What the? What's going on here?" And then all of a sudden, they see two boxers coming in, and then they just started throwing down in a very narrow kind of area in the store. They could have picked an area where they had more room to kind of move around. Oh, man, but, you know, I've been talking about pillow fighting. <laughs> Get your head out of the gutter, but in, in other videos about guys not having punching power. And Knoxville is the ultimate pillow fighter here. Again, he just doesn't have, doesn't have the steam on his shots. But um, the one thing that Knoxville has going for him, he's got the speed, brother. He's got the speed. Oh. <laughs> I nicknamed him. Did you hear that, Winky? <laughs> What's Knoxville's nickname? Did he have a nickname? Knoxville's Johnny Knoxville is not even his real name. Because I did some research on him, and he was born in Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh, yes. I like that. You see that? What happened there? Butterbean really did not li like that hook right there. His health went down. Oh, come on. And again, Johnny Knoxville looks like he's training at the YMCA here. It doesn't look like he's got <laughs> any technical skill. Shout out to everyone who trains at the YMCA. I actually trained at the YMCA with some buddies, and holy cow, we strapped on some boxing gloves. We had some great, fun, epic matches. <laughs> Just jumping into the ring there. <laughs> they had a ring at our local YMCA. Oh, there's a shot to the belly. And um, we would jump in and have some sparring matches. Oh, man, Knoxville's got to be careful. Got to be mindful of my stamina. just can't seem to get close to him and if you're tuning in for the first time man I'm far from a pro at this game oh, what an yeah. Showing you some defense there so there's the always moments where I'm missing oh yes Knoxville's doing pretty good here man there's another one it's gonna take a lot though in my opinion to knock down the big man but again just like King Hippo and Mike Tyson's punch out you know how many times do you think Butterbean can get up after he's been dropped so yes that's a good ending to the round brother you could say man we won that round let's go we got tons of time this is 12 rounds and look at Butterbean's stamina boy holy cow yeah shot to the belly again we're not using Floyd Mayweather here so we have to still respect yeah respect Butterbean's power holy cow he's really winding up on his shots and he still has steam on his shots 
Again, what's saving us is the <laughs> the lightning speed of Dogsville. Oh yeah. But again, he's got a lot of he's got a lot of skin down there. I don't know if that's really hurting him. I have to adjust my seat here. This is now getting intense already in the third round. There's another shot to the belly. Again, we got to be mindful of that one-shot power that Butterbean has. There. He can um, totally um, shut the lights off on us if we're not careful, if we're off-balance. Like on one of those, he's really using that power modifier to <laughs> try to knock us out. Again, I can't be throwing those jabs at the block. Oh! That was a good one, but again, it didn't really do much damage on him. Another one. And again, I'm not trying to be flashy. Not trying to be... You know, not trying to get style points. Nice little step back. Straight by Knoxville coming into his own. Yeah. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Look at Butterbean's health. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm scared to get too close to him. Look at his health. Oh, he kind of got it back. Combo lands to the head. Well, oh, come on, I gotta move forward. Jeez, doesn't sound like it's doing damage, but I look to the bottom left, and look at this. Oh, down he goes! Oh my goodness! Butterbean goes down, man! This is surprising, though. This is definitely surprising. Knoxville! And look at this, he's not moving at all. Okay, here we go. Four. Five, he's up. Like nothing happened, nothing to see. <laughs> but again, he got his health right back. Got his health right back. So again, keep on ripping the body. Keep on trying to stay technical, baby. Because all he's got to do is... Oh, that was a good shot to the belly button right there. And can't be spamming my shots, but this is a great round. I was worried, to be honest. I do my um, my thinking for my videos while I'm walking my dog. Just so you guys know, by the way. But um, as I was walking my dog, I'm like, I hope I to I totally don't embarrass myself using a guy that's in in the 60s in terms of overall um, attributes, overall ratings, but. This is a dream here, a dream start. I gotta continue doing what I'm doing. Look at this! Drop the first, but then Knoxville doing a great job. <laughs> and I like this Knoxville model too. He's got the hair. He's got. I tried to match the uh, the gloves and the shorts, just like the movie. Yeah. See that slow motion uppercut? Yes. Oh man, you see that crazy shot by Butterbean? But again, it's... Oh. his health is not replenishing. I gotta stop looking at the bottom corner to be honest. Oh, come on! I, I tried to use the power modifier. I don't think we need it. Oh, one sidestep uppercut, baby! Yeah! <laughs> One sidestep uppercut and Butterbean goes down. Is Johnny Knoxville on steroids here? Wow, what heart by Butterbean. Much respect to him. And again, it just uh, it ain't over until it's over. If you've played Fight Night Champion, man, you know that the computer will find a way to battle back. And you've seen it in my previous video, so I'm bearing down. I know in some videos, some of you guys get frustrated with me saying, Big Daddy Rick, man, you had it. I got cocky. Oh yeah, there's a nice one. And again, what I like that I'm doing, and I don't like to pump my own tires or toot my own horn, 
I like that I'm not getting greedy with my shots. Not cheating myself. You know what I mean? Just hitting them with a shot. And then waiting for another opening. Taking my time. Yes, there's another uppercut. And look at but Butterbean is scared to throw shots, man. Oh, and one shot. Power shot right there. And Butterbean goes down. This is surprising, man. This is absolutely surprising. And he's grabbing my ankles, pleading for some mercy. And someone's got to throw some water on him. Could it be done here? Is it? Oh, he gets up. What in the world? Oh my god, he's a zombie. <laughs> Butterbean's a zombie, man. <laughs> Butterbean is a zombie. I gotta give him a headbutt, man. I'm gonna give him a headbutt for cracking my head inside that department store. Oh no! No, no, no! Oh, what am I doing? Oh my goodness. I thought they give you a warning first. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Steps on a nail. Here we go. Uh oh. He's hanging on. I can't get. I can't get through his block right there. There's another one. Another shot. Butterbean hanging on. Gotta be careful because one more illegal shot and I think I'm gonna get disqualified. I got a point taken away. Are you kidding me? Oh, he gets saved by the bell. All right, all right. <laughs> no more crazy antics. Let's go for the finish here. ready to possibly finish things off in style. He scored a knockdown in the last round. I can't believe I got it carried away, man, in the moment right there. Got a point taken away, so we got to go for the finish here. Oh, and down he goes. Look at that. It's got to be done right here. Oh, that looked like an illegal shot. Look at this. Right on the back of the head. That's illegal. Look at this. Oh, one more time. He went to go for the clinch, and we hit him with an illegal shot. Referee didn't see it. Oh, and he's moving already. Oh, he, oh down he goes. It's over. <laughs> Redemption City in the house. What a victory. Butterbean goes down. Johnny Knoxville gets some training over the years and gets that redemption and gets the finish. <laughs> that was so much fun, man. That was a lot of fun, but let me know your thoughts on this video. Keep your crazy ideas coming. This is what I just love about YouTube, just making these funny matchups, making you guys laugh, but then selfishly making myself laugh while I'm making this video. It's just too fun, man. But there you have it. And look at this. It qualifies for a uh, ESPN Classic. Wow, look at that fourth round scoring, a 9-7. Obviously, it would have been a 10-7 if I wasn't acting like an idiot. But uh, <laughs> I, was getting f I was having fun in the moment, man, having fun in the moment. But anyways, people, I'll end off this video. Thank you so much for all the support. Have a great day. This is Ricky J, man. All the best. I'm out.